What's up guys? Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a different video today. Uh, first of all, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, even if you're not one of the people supporting this video, just by you viewing, it supports this video and its purpose. Um, this video is uh, its probably... A, you know, it, it's about a topic that isn't really a huge deal. Um, it is a huge deal to some people, though, but, you know, it it hasn't really been to me when I see these kind of posts, you know, because I just look at it like, whatever, you know, you know nothing about it anyway, so, and it's quite obvious. Um, what I'm getting at is anti-hunters. Yeah, I said it, anti-hunters. There's my Facebook going off. I woke up today and uh, I'm part of this group or I like and support a group or a page called Shea Shea Outdoors. And it, it's a, you know, there's female hunters and stuff and, and they do hunting and they like to post their pictures. They hunt for meat, not so much as a sport, you know, um, as much as hunting for the meat kind of becomes a sport in itself but for a lot of people like myself it's a way of life and uh, when you get these anti-hunters going and posting your pictures on their pages and stuff like that you know it, wow thanks for the you know the attention right that's the way I look at that I don't care that just means thousands more people got to see me with my kill right but Today it's a little different. Um, there's a group right here. It's on Facebook. You guys can go check it out. And it's called We Are Against Trophy Hunting. That's all cool. You know. To those guys who are just shooting a deer. Cutting its head off for the antlers. And leaving the rest there. Fuck you. And uh, if this group would just stick to their guns. And not you know, go outside their boundaries. Then you know, maybe I wouldn't be doing this video. You know, but this is the thing. It was pointed out to me today. There's a young 10 year old girl. And I'm going to say her name. Like, I'm almost in tears right now because I have a daughter myself. But I'm going to say her name to show her respect and support. Her name's Savannah. And I think her last name's Wood. I'm pretty sure her mother's name's Jennifer Lynn Wood. And if not, I apologize, but either way, they support this little girl, and they're very close to her. She's a 10-year-old little girl, and she got her first deer with a crossbow, archery. I've never even shot a buck before. I'm 35 years old, and, you know, she, she got her first buck. Looks like a little six-pointer. Right on. You know what? Awesome. She, when it comes time, she's going to have... You know, a better perspective on what it means to provide for herself and her family. You know what I mean? And then you get dicks like this group here coming and saying, Oh, just saw this picture this morning on Facebook. Type shame in the comments below. Her parents are just dumbass. Like, are you listening to yourself, man? This is a 10-year-old little girl whose picture you're circulating around on the damn internet, man. Whether it's hunting or not, it's a 10-year-old little girl, man. What do you got to pick on a little girl for? Like, you're a special kind of fucking stupid, man. If it was my kid, dude, I'd be at your house by now, I promise you. You know what I mean? Like, look at the shame on you for every types is the first comment. Fucking shame on you. Like, come on, man. But yet you're probably wearing a fucking dog fur collar winter jacket from China, right? Thinking it's real fur? Fucking asshole. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I'm sorry for my swearing and shit, man. But, you know, like, come on now. This is ridiculous. And then some of the comments down here. You know, like... Wow, dude. There's a guy in here that says, oh, in this day and age, we don't need to hunt. You should leave the animals alone. And I, come on, man. You yourself know, like, Kevin, like, oh, my God, dude. 
even if you don't hunt, dude, just for saying that, you yourself know that inbreeding's wrong. Like, it's obviously affected your life in a way. So, why, you know, like, you don't understand. We don't hunt deer. We're going to have to hit them with their cars to, you know, dim the population of inbreeding. You know, if you don't hunt them, they're going to inbreed, and you're going to have a bunch of little guys like you running around out there, man. Like, wow. You know, we don't need to hunt for food now, and we never will in the future. It's a choice we to decide to kill or take another's life. What gives you the right just because you're allowed by law does not make it okay. All hunters kill because they enjoy it. No other reason, period. Nature can balance itself as long as man stays out of it. Some of us have not picked up our knuckles off the ground yet and evolved to the next level. Of, like, are you kidding me, dude? Wow. Wow. Like, this is somebody who doesn't have the guts to kill for themselves. They just rather have their food raised in a fucking, you know, little tiny pen for how many months. Never see, you know, fresh air or nothing. And then get hanged upside down and skinned half alive and dragged all over a fucking slaughter room floor. You're an idiot, dude. You're you're a hitman. It's anti-hunters like you that are the problems in with today's wildlife, man. Because you guys don't contribute. If you're not a hunter in North America, you do not contribute to our wildlife. And I promise you, if you go look that up, you'll see that. You, you Unless you're donating... Like, I know bird watchers that make donations and, and go and take the hunter's safety course so that they can contribute back into what they love. I know guys that are anti... They're not anti-hunters, they just don't hunt because they don't need to or whatever and don't want to, you know, you don't see them talking shit like that. They they make their donations and stuff. You anti-hunters are just, wow, degenerates, man. You know, like, you, you, if you spend all your fucking time, you know, as much time as you do and effort as you do against us hunters, man, and put it towards something like homeless people on us. Why don't you help and take one of these Syrian refugee families in for us, then, if you're such a fucking hero, man? Like, wow, dude. This is a 10-year-old little girl we're talking about. You know, like, hunting aside, man. If it was your little girl doing what she loved to do and had a picture taken of it, you know, there's going to be someone out there that doesn't like it. You know, would you like it if they took your daughter's picture and put it all over the fucking internet and slandered her? You're a fucking goof, man. Like, look at all these people. There is a lot of people sticking up for her, though. And, and I commend them for doing that. You know, you guys are awesome for sticking up for this little girl. But you nitwits coming in here and knowing nothing about the story or, you know... Just typing shame because you're basically told you're an idiot, man. Straight up. You know, like some. You know, like. I could go on forever with this, man. You know, like. That's not a trophy deer, first of all. You know? And second of all, that's how her parents raised to choose her, and who are you raise her? That's that's how they chose to raise her, man. Who are you to tell them how to, you know, raise their kid different, man, when you're no better, you know? Like, I hope somebody takes a picture of you with your barbecued hamburger, man. You just, you know, if you're going to go by your ledger, you just made yourself a trophy hunter, you dumbass. Like, what the hell is wrong with these people? You know, I'm going to keep an eye on this group. And uh, I'm going to see how much help we can get. You know, I kind of wanted some more info about what these guys are doing to this poor family. And I think I'm going to get some back. And when I do, I'm going to make another video. And I'm going to keep making videos about this group until, you know, they get the hint that Bottom line is, you can't pick on children, man. You put a fucking child's picture on your group and slander her and pick on her, there's going to be people like me that have a problem with it. And just like my hunting, I will stay persistent with you. You leave the kids alone. Straight up.
Dude, look at all this shit, man. Most informed page ever. It's just disgusting, guys. Make sure you guys go on here. We are against trophy hunting. It's a community page. Make sure you guys, uh, you know, like, go say your peace to them, man. Even if it's not about hunting. Even if it's just about, you know, how I feel about them picking on a little kid, man. You guys are a bunch of bitches, dude. Like, seriously, why you gotta pick on a 10-year-old little girl? That's about how good you are, man. You're only as good as those who you look down upon, just so you know that. Morons. You know, like, your, your first comment is fucking shame on you forever. It's hypocritical slander, dude. Straight up. You know, your wife's probably making... Your, your, your wife's probably wearing makeup and shit made from rendered animal fat, dude. Like, <laughs> your sh you probably use shampoo with it too, don't you, dude? Like, why you gotta pick, you know, like, why do you gotta pick on little kids, dude? You know, look at this Pixie Haas chick. Any parents that can bring up their child to believe hunting an animal is, an, is acceptable should not be parents at all. Shame on all of you. You know, like, it's your typical assassin right there, man. Knows nothing. They think, you know, they think their meat grows in a grocery store. Like, these are the type of people that would rather have their child born from a test tube than give birth to it themselves. You know? Like, why don't you guys go try hunting before you knock it, man? You know, like, you can't know not you can't hate something if you know nothing about it. You know? You think Hitler and all those assholes were defeated by ignorance? No, man. We knew everything about them to defeat them. And here you, you know, you obviously know nothing about hunting. Like, Pixie Hawes. <laughs> Are you, are you serious? Like seriously. The deer that I've killed were dead in 10 seconds, man. Go watch how your hamburger or your McDonald's or whatever you eat's made and, and harvested. Go watch them drag that cow upside down, you know. Five seconds after they cut its throat, it's still you know, suffering down that line, hanging upside down by one throat till it bleeds to death. You guys are, you know nothing. You're just coming on here for the sake of picking on a little girl, man. Like, I ain't even started yet. I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel like I'm making a shitty video right now. You know, because I'm at a loss for words. You know, like... I know humanity can sink to a low, but come on now, man. You know? I mean, look at this Jessica Holmes girl. There's not a food shortage. You do not need to hunt anymore. You guys think hunting's just for food? It's about herd population and control, man. It's about making sure, you know, bucks aren't breeding their mamas in two years and stuff. And we don't have a bunch of deformed, you know, less fortunate deer running around. Like, come on, guys. Like I said, you guys are inbred. You should know all about the problems you guys are having. Why you think, you know, like, come on now. Why should deer have to be inbred, you know? We're going to hunt them. Dumbasses. Let's find another comment on here. You know, like... Here's a good one. Willow Grace, thumbs up to you. So killing this deer bothers you more than the hundreds of thousands of different animals being mistreated in the factory farm industry? It's an industry. That should tell you something, man. 
you know? Like, here's another positive comment for us hunters uh, by Z Zoe Goro. Wow, so everyone's saying we don't need to hunt anymore because we can buy it in stores or totally okay with and prefers to buy factory raised and killed animals. Living behind rose colored glasses to buy your meat is more disrespectful to the animals than this. Many hunters have a higher level of respect for the animals than most because they realize what it actually takes to put food on the table. Animal cruelty is wrong, yes, but factory farm industry will never be cruel, crueler than this. Go pick the right fights. Harassing this little girl and her family is what's really wrong. And he says he, she says she's shaking her damn head. And she's right. Sorry for my reading, guys. I have dyslexia. You know, Brett Cottrell. Another positive comment. Deer hunting is more for herd and population control. If people didn't hunt, we'd be all we'd be overrun by deer, and our stupid, precious new cars would ha would be at risk of damage from hitting them on the road, where the deer would be useless. At least hunters use or donate the meat. There are many. There may not be a food so shortage, regardless, most country folk raise their animals to live off the land, or raise their families to live off the land. If you think this is wrong, you're a dumbass. And you're absolutely right, dude. You know? So, I just wanted to make this video because just wanted to show a little support for this little girl. And, uh, I was hoping all my, uh, Subscribers that hunt will support this little girl too, man. And even you guys that don't hunt or whatever. Bottom line is they're picking on a little girl. And it pisses me off and it should you too. So. Since I got four minutes left. I'm going to end the video here. And uh. You guys uh. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, go support this little girl, and until the next time, PEACE!